you said the last time you felt like crying was when you were on the phone with Pooh Shiesty when he was rapping to you. <laughs> like you felt like that was the last time you felt like crying. I said that. Yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the power of the internet, right? You yeah. can go through those things and, and look them up, but yeah. that's 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 weird. But that but that just shows like the love and the bond that y'all have, right? I probably tweeted something I wrote in the song or something like that. Yeah. I'm oh, so that was like a lyric? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I do that a lot. A lot of stuff I just have to be lyric out of my songs or song I'm listening to. The, the the new song you just dropped, uh, well, not just dropped, it's been out for a little bit. Um, I believe Double... I think I had written down somewhere. I don't want to uh, fuck it up. Double life. Double life. It been out like two like weeks. Yeah, I feel like that's a double entendre. Am I wrong? What you mean? Like I feel like it means it. It's it's there's two meanings to it. Yeah. Like it, like you're showcasing like you have this good side to you, but then you also have this don't fuck with me side. I mean everybody like that, right? Yeah. Everybody got that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got that. Love inside, and they don't fuck with me inside. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to put out great music. I'm just, you know, just trying to entertain to get people all uh, type of different aspects. You know what I'm saying? For yeah, you, you said in the Instagram post that you got more coming. Oh, yeah. yeah, I do. How, how often you feel like you're gonna be dropping? Because it feel like people are thirsty for music. No, for like me. for real though. During that break, it gave me a lot of time to get myself together. Like kind of get myself a head start because I got a lot of, I got a lot of music like, wow, going through my process of hitting and making songs then. Mm -hmm. When I felt like I bounced all the way back, I made a lot of songs. So like, we locked and loaded and then like, they got projects, you know what I'm saying, videos. I'm just ready to drop after I drop y'all, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stop. Yeah. Hold on, rewind real quick, because you said something really important. I don't want to skip over it. You said while you were going through your process of healing. What what were you doing specifically to help you through that process of healing? Uh, trying to read, trying, trying to stay around the right energy. My kids and people I know really love me. Wow. Got my back, you know. And just staying out the way, changing my way of living and how I move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really changing the way how you live and no, you just saying that because yeah. we on the interview. No, I'm dead serious. Yeah. I like that. What can you give me like a specific thing you were doing before that you don't do anymore? Shit, I don't live in Memphis no more. Wow. That's a But I've been moved. I've been moved out of Memphis. That's what I'm saying. I ain't just saying I've been moved. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, uh let's stay on Memphis real quick, because I want to ask you something about that, like I don't know what it is about like Memphis, but you, Bag, Shicey, Gotti, like you found a way to transform the street music from Memphis into an actual culture that people actually like. like do, you, do you know how you all have been able to do that? I mean, I, I mean, we just, all us, all us out of the people you just know, just, we're trying to show the world like, all us really trying to show the world, like the real Memphis, like we trying to show y'all how we putting it down in Memphis, like this is what's going on. Yeah. Like how, when you listen to other rappers, like you can almost visualize where they're from and feel like you're from the hood. Like, mm -hmm. This is exactly what we trying to make you do. Yeah. Feel like you're in Memphis and, you know what I'm saying? Went through what went through. You know, I try to show, I try to show, show a lot, show my fans. Where I came from, you know, how far I came. And I think it's that rawness, that the authenticity that makes people draw to it too. Cause like people actually invested in like the community, the the, the what it's like living in the hoods of Memphis. Like that's a real so to to have that existing, I think that's powerful. Like mm -hmm. to, for y'all to be able to do that for, you know, y'all state is yeah. or city is insane. Like that's that's dope, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's stop here for a second. See, Yo Gotti, Moneybag Yo, Pooh Shicey, and Big 30 have played a big role in making Memphis street music into a major part of the culture. Through their catchy beats, raw lyrics, and authentic stories, they've brought the sound of the streets to the forefront. Their hustle, talent, and dedication have earned them respect, not just locally, but nationwide. 
they've created a movement that people can relate to and people are invested in. They're shining a light on the realities of life in Memphis while also showcasing the city's musical talent and creativity. Man, that's special. All right, let's get back to the show.